Hey friends, today we are going to be driving from Pennsylvania to Florida. My trip up north to visit my family has come to an end. I'm a little sad about it, but we got to do some amazing things. We got to visit some awesome theme parks and make some videos. I got to spend some quality time with my mom and sister, but it's time to head back down to Florida, back to Walt Disney World, and I figured I'd bring you along on this journey. It's about an 18 hour drive and we're going to be stopping at a lot of places. We might go straight through or we might just stop and get a hotel and I figured it'd be fun to make a little video. Anywho's, let's go do this. Gracie's gonna be sad too because she's gonna miss having this as her backyard. Look at this! She's been having the best time ever up here. She really has. The only reason I drove up to Pennsylvania and why I'm driving back down to Florida is because I brought Gracie with me. I mean, any other time I always say I don't want to drive because it is such a long drive. It's like 18 hours and some of those parts it's just three hours where you're just driving in a straight line and it really messes. Anyone that's ever drove down 95 knows what I'm talking about. But any other time I recommend flying. But this time I had to bring my little girl with me and Gracie had fun. All right, it's time to get going. Our bags are all packed up. You ready for this road trip there, girly girl? She was really good coming up. She likes going for car rides, but she doesn't like being on the highway. Like she doesn't go, she doesn't like going in high speeds. What are you doing? You're acting so silly. So you'll see how she acts as we're driving down. Sometimes she just sits there. Sometimes she sits in the front with me. She's a great road companion. Yes, you are. A couple of things I'm excited to share with you about this road trip are going to be like the gas prices in the different states. I think we're driving through seven states and it's 1,200 miles. So we're going to be able to compare it and fill up our tank a lot. And then also the change in weather. It's 63 degrees right now in Pennsylvania. I hear it's been so hot in Florida. So it will be interesting to see how the temperature changes as we go south. And then also the rest stops, truck stops, and just places that you get to see on 95. And it'd be a fun little adventure. All right, we're gonna do a photo. Come here, Gracie. Come here. Sit. There we go. It's not a photo, it's a video. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's time to leave. Goodbye, Mom. I love you. Bye, we'll see you next time. Bye, Bon Bon. Bye. I know, but I gotta go. You guys are gonna come visit Florida soon, though, right? Yeah. You're coming back down to Disney. Yep. Coming back down to Disney. You heard it here, folks. Yep. You heard it here. No <laughs> yeah. excuses now. You got to come down now. No excuses. <laughs> yep. All right. Well, we're going to get going. All right. Come on, Gracie. Let's go. A lot of you guys probably know I was born and raised in Scranton, Pennsylvania, and now I live in Orlando, Florida. So that's why we're going to be making this road trip from Scranton, Pennsylvania to Orlando, Florida. And uh, yeah, I'm just excited to be back down, go to Disney World again. It was great to be up here, and I got to visit all my favorite theme parks around the area, and I got to show you guys. But it's time to go home. Come on, Gracie, let's go. Woo! You ready? And we are off. I'm a little sad. I don't want to leave my mom and sister, but you guys heard them. They're coming down to Disney. I always want them to come down. They're more than welcome to come anytime. And I'll pay for everything. Like, you know what I mean? I just want them to be able to enjoy Florida a little bit. And now it's time for us to start making our way. Uh, first things first, we're going to fill up the tank here in Pennsylvania. Here at the good old Sunoco, gas is $4.90. So we're filling up the tank and uh, it just kicked. I had just about a quarter of tank in there. So about $40 worth. Uh, I think it's a 10 gallon tank. And uh, yeah, this is our first gas stop. Are you so excited? She loves it when I roll down the window as I'm pumping gas because then she gets to hang out a little bit longer with me. But that's going to do it right there. First fill up, I think it's we'll say 40 bucks because i'm gonna kind of push it there perfect it's kind of satisfying it is 1 30 p.m and it's time to hit 81. are you driving who's driving here oh yeah go on whenever i start driving down to florida i always put walt disney world resort as my destination hit the directions and we are 16 hours and 50 minutes away gonna hit on 81 south and uh looks like uh we got a little bit here 
Here we go. Just me and you, baby, on the open road. She's not excited about this. You shed your weary me and Gracie relaxing. Oh no! <laughs> also, I do have to apologize about the camera. It's probably a little shaky because I have it mounted in the car, but it's not that sturdy and, it, and the, the vibrations of the road makes it shake a little bit. So just in case it's a little shaky, I just wanted to give you a heads up. That's why. Coming up, we got Bloomsburg, Strasburg, Harrisburg, all of the good bird places there's a whole lot of birds in Pennsylvania <laughs> we're crossing the good old Susquehanna River heading on into Harrisburg Pennsylvania's capital right there we have been driving for just about three hours and we are in Gettysburg Pennsylvania and we're real close to cross over into Maryland so we're gonna be leaving Pennsylvania soon so I wanted to stop let Gracie run out a little bit and I seen this little diner and I love diners you know what I mean diner food is probably some of the best food you can get and uh, one of the things I really wanted to do was try some cool food as I make this journey down to Florida and I figured I'd try one of uh, uh, Gettysburg's diners you got a drink. Good girl. Right here we are. Hunterstown Diner. I thought we were in Gettysburg, but I guess we're in Hunterstown. The menu looks like Gettysburg. It even says Gettysburg right there. Oh, yeah. So I don't know why it says Hunterstown when the address is 25 Sando Road, Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. And, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm all about uh, diner food. So whatever's quick and fast, I think I'll grab. Uh, I'm sure they have specials in there, but all this food is amazing. The hot open sandwiches, the chicken sandwiches, steaks and chops. And I wanted to see maybe a dessert or some soup. They're actually doing a special on their hot open face roast beef sandwiches served over stuffing comes with two sides and a soup so I had to get it you know what I mean I'm all about it and any soup that's homemade soup is soup for me. This place has that small town diner feel to it so I'm excited to try the food. I always love sitting at the bar whenever I come to diners I think it's so cool but we're gonna get our food to go. We can't really sit down and eat in places because I have Gracie in the car waiting for me and I'm sure she's probably going to want a little bit of it. So that's why I said we're going to take it to go. I got the goods. I got the goods. <laughs> I was going to try to eat my food in the car, but I thought it was going to be a little bit difficult. So I decided to come over here to this abandoned drive-in ice cream parlor here in Gettysburg. Distel Fink. Look at it. The sign is kind of cool, but it's all gone. Windows are all boarded up, so we're going to eat uh, my food on the uh, car. We'll eat it on the car while we uh, enjoy this beautiful sign. This little drive-in ice cream parlor is really cool. I would have loved to see what it looked like in its like, you know, heyday, but now it's just all abandoned. But it probably was a, like the spot to be. But take a look at this food. Holy moly, this is a lot of food for $8. $8 for this. I got the hot open face roast beef and he got stuffing under there. All oh, that stuffing looks phenomenal. Mashed potatoes. And I wanted to get the home fries because I love home fries. And then it comes with a super salad. So I got the chicken and rice soup. And that, oh wow. This is gonna be so cool. Sitting on the side of the road, enjoying my soup. Chicken and rice soup. Hot! <laughs> That's hot soup right there. But it is good soup. That is so... Uh, oh, man. Lots of rice, lots of chicken. And you can tell it's all homemade. Now it's time to try the home fries. Oh, yeah. You can need some gravy for these bad boys, though. Gracie, you want some potatoes? Good girl. Now let's dive into the main event here. The roast beef and stuffing. The roast beef and stuffing. There we go. Get a little good, good, good bite right there. That's what I'm talking about. A little bit of everything in one bite. And here we go. Wow. That is so good. Wow. 
the stuffing is what does it for me. Look at that stuffing right there. That's the thing. That's the silver tuna. But I had to switch it over, so I put a little bit of the home fries on that side of the container, and now I can add a little bit of gravy on there. And this is just so good. I'm not going to be able to eat all this food. Like, no way. I think I'm going to finish up the soup, though, because I can't bring that with me on the road. Let it be known, if I come across a small town diner, you best believe I'm going to be going in there to see if they have any homemade soups because that's what it's all about. And this whole meal, the whole meal was amazing. Very good. I like Gettysburg. Since we're actually here in Gettysburg, I thought it'd be cool to stop at the Gettysburg National Military Park Museum and Visitor Center. Isn't that so awesome, Gracie? Look at you. You're going places. We can get our picture taken with President Lincoln here. I think Gracie's afraid of President Lincoln. Don't be afraid. He's an honest man. Come here. <laughs> Come here. Don't be afraid of him. <laughs> Most of the things that you can do here are not pet friendly, so sadly we really can't do anything. But I'm happy that we got to stop. Gracie enjoyed her time visiting Gettysburg. And now, back to the uh, open road. Welcome to Maryland. Welcome to Maryland. Goodbye, Pennsylvania. Goodbye, Pennsylvania. The GPS says 13 hours and 47 minutes left on our journey. Uh, we started at 1.30. I don't even know what time it is. Hold on, we have to look. <laughs> 5.41, it's 5.41 now. But we stopped at Gettysburg. We done a bunch of different stuff. And it was just really cool to be at Gettysburg. Really awesome. Such a historical place. I wish I got to explore a little bit more, but I have Gracie with me, so it's hard to do that. And oh, gas kicked. Right here is the gas station we decided to stop at, the Mountaindale Convenience Store. Gas is only $4.79 here in Maryland. Not too bad. A little bit of gas, deli, beer, wine, liquor, lotto, and groceries. Also, did you notice I really pronounced the T in Mountaindale? I still sometimes just say mountain because it's kind of a, a locally accent up in Pennsylvania. A lot of people say mountain. <laughs> 2309, can we get 25? Let's get it in there, come on. There we go, I'm gonna try to do it instant. Oh man, that was close. 2508. Now that the gas in business is taken care of, I think I wanna grab myself a coffee. And I noticed that the uh, Mountaindale convenience store has their own local peppercorn coffee. Right here, they actually brew it here and you get to get a cup if you want it. And they have some good flavors. Like I was looking at some of them. They have a blueberry flavor. Like right here, they have blueberry cinnamon sticky bun. But I decided on getting the Mason Dixon blend dark roast. But no joke, this Maryland gas station is like on another level. They've got a whole entire deli in here with some sliced meats, some macaroni salad, some apple crisp. They've got hamburgers, they've got fried chicken. They even have specials. Look at this. This is some good stuff. I mean, this is my kind of gas station. I like it a lot in here. It's definitely something different and unique. We gotta try this good coffee here. Oh, it's hot. It's good. Oh, a little bit strong, I like it. Now, uh, keep moving through Maryland. That's the plan. Look at all Gracie's hair. Yep. Look at that. That's my Gracie girl. Welcome to Virginia. We made it. We made it to Virginia. Gracie has had enough. Look at her. Now that we have made it to Virginia, I wanted to pull over and I noticed a town called Spotsylvania. Spotsylvania? So that's where we are. We're in Spotsylvania. And the reason I stopped here is because I thought it was a perfect spot for Gracie. You know what I mean? Because of her spots. And uh, I'm going to grab some gas, maybe a quick bite and then back on 95. It's been such a fun drive so far. Not too bad, traffic's been really good. We have 11 hours and 46 minutes to go. And if we kept on driving straight through, we would be at home in Florida at 7.30 in the morning. It is 7.45 now. So we've been on the road since 1.30. So 2.30, 3.30, 4.30, 5, 30, 6, 30, 7, about six hours. Not too bad and that's stopping a lot. 
Gas here at the good old A Plus in Spotsylvania is four dollars and sixty-three cents. That's the cheapest we saw so far. I think we started out at four ninety in Pennsylvania, then four seventy-nine when we got to Maryland, and now four sixty-three. I still have a lot of gas left in, but might as well top it off. So far with gas, I spent forty dollars, twenty-five dollars, and now it looks like uh, about ten dollars. <laughs> $10 will top us off. Two gallons. Come on, you got this. Boom, $10. Gracie's getting her Virginia stretch on right now. Gonna have to get her some water. Oh yeah, little potty break. Good girl, good girl. That's the way. Can I get a large iced coffee with cream and liquid sugar? Cream and liquid sugar? And then a pup cup too. A pup cup, uh, pup cup already. Yeah, for the doggy. It's gonna be 493. Thank you. I saw a Dunkin' Donuts across the street from the gas station. Gracie loves pup cups, either at Starbucks or here, so I had to stop and look at her. She's got her head out the window. It's like she orders them herself, I feel like. She knows whenever we're in a drive-thru, she's looking at her lips, look at her back there. She hopped from the, the front seat all the way back there because she knows. Are you excited for a pup cup? Also, during road trips, I consume an incredible amount of coffee. I just had coffee in Maryland, and now here I am at Dunkin' Donuts, about to get another coffee. How you doing? There we go. You can keep the chains, too. Oh, that's a big cup. <laughs> there we go. Oh, yes. Take it in the back. Take it. <laughs> and I just need a straw. She's like a fiend. Look at her. <laughs> Still roaming around the great state of Virginia. And I came across a nice little Italian restaurant. And it's Giuseppe's or Giuseppe's. So I figured maybe I'd hop in, see if they got a slice of pizza. You know, we've had a small time, a small town diner. Now maybe a small town uh, Italian restaurant. These are things that I love. Here's the place, Giuseppe's. Looks like a, you know, small town Italian restaurant, like I said. Pets are welcome on the patio, so I think Gracie's gonna come hang out over here. We're gonna see about getting a slice. Wow, this patio is nice. What you thinking, Gracie, huh? Yeah, very fancy. All right, here it is. Giuseppe's. Giuseppe's, Gracie. <laughs> Got some homemade tiramisu, tiramisu, and then uh, they had some slices. So I grabbed some slices. Oh, wow. This actually looks really good. This looks like good pizza. A little bit floppy, but that crust is looking pretty good. What do I want to try a bite? I think I'm a little bit more excited for the homemade tiramisu, but look at the pizza here. Not too bad. Nice little flop there. Good undercarriage. Yeah, I like it. Gracie's right here. So I guess we're going to give it a go. Mmm. It's one of those pizzas where they put the American cheese on top, not the mutz. The mozzarella. Definitely American cheese on there. The crust is good, though. But let's get to this tiramisu here. Ooh, don't want to crack it. There we go. That's looking good. You can't have this, Gracie. That's chocolate and coffee. Some good old Virginia tiramisu. Cut it right down there. There we go. Giuseppe's got it going on here. The tiramisu is better than the pizza. Ooh, you can taste that coffee really good. Man, that's good. I mean... The pizza's not bad pizza. I just don't like American cheese, like Old Forge style. That's what I think of when I think of American cheese. I think of Old Forge pizza. But this tiramisu is banging. Bussin'. All right, Gracie, enough of the pizza business. Back to I-95 we go. Wow, look how beautiful it is out right now. 
Look at this sunset happening. Man, this is nice. Wow. It's like almost, it's like that cotton candy uh, sky. Let me put Gracie, come on, hop in. Thank you. It's gonna get dark out pretty soon, so I think we're gonna actually try to make it to North Carolina and then find a hotel and spend the night. So that way we can wake up in the morning and be able to go through like South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida during the daytime and maybe even stop it south of the border. I feel like that'd be a good time. And Gracie likes it. She's pacing back and forth back there. I don't know if you can see her. Let me see. What do you think? We're passing King's Dominion. I wish I had time to stop there, but we have to get back to Florida by a certain date or else I would be stopping and that would be theme park 23 so far for the year. Or technically, it would be 22. We made it to North Carolina. Finally, there was a little bit of construction there in Virginia and we were stuck in like single lane traffic, but we made it and it's too dark out now. Gracie's tired. So we found a nice little hotel right in Roanoke Rapids and it's a uh, Hilton Garden Inn. The reason I decided to stop here is because there is a dark park that I remember going to just a couple, like maybe a mile down the road. So Gracie will like that in the morning, but uh, yeah. I can show you my little hotel and we're gonna rest up for the night. Here it is, the Hilton Garden Inn. Now this was $160 for the night because I had Gracie, there's a, an additional pet fee, but it's really hard to find hotels that are dog friendly. So I kind of just went with it. And like I said, I know there's a dog park right up the road and uh, yeah, we're gonna check it out and kind of relax a little bit. I already dropped Gracie off, but I wanna see her when I walk in the door. Why oh, sneaky? <laughs> what do you think of the room? Oh yeah, what do you think? Huh? You like it? Let's go jump on the bed. <laughs> jump on this bed. <laughs> this is a pretty spacious room. Two beds, a big king chair, nice bathroom. I like it. Seriously, this isn't that bad at all. Gracie likes the beds. There's the nice little king chair. Definitely feel like king of the castle in there. We got a TV. I already set up Gracie's dishes right here. We've got a Keurig, a microwave, a little fridge here. Got a nice little mirror closet. A bathroom, very, very nice. The good soap, Neutrogena, very, very good. Yeah, I like it a lot, not too bad. And we even got a evacuation plan just in case of emergencies. It is pretty late though, so I think we're just gonna call it a night and just pick it up tomorrow. We'll go to the dog park, get some coffee, some breakfast, continue down 95, hit South Carolina, maybe a trip to the south of the border, Georgia, and then Florida. So I'm gonna get all ready for bed now. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Whoop. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. Did you have a good sleep? I bet you did, because I did. And good morning to you guys. We are in North Carolina. It is morning, we are refreshed. The hotel was nice. The customer service in here was fantastic. It was a little bit dirty, but not too bad. And it was perfect for the price because I had Gracie. And like I said last night, there's a dog park nearby. So we're gonna actually hop over there and let Gracie run wild for a little bit. Did you sleep good? Did you sleep good? Huh? Yes, you did. You got eye boogies. Let me get those eye boogies. Ooh, yeah. Ho, 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 ho. And here we are at the Halifax Visitor Center Dog Walk. I love how some of these visitor centers actually have dog walks. Hey, how are ya? <laughs> Look at Gracie, she's loving it here. We've been playing out, a whole bunch of different doggy friends. Looks like she got another one coming in. Who's that, a friend? Who's that, a friendy friend? <laughs> That's a friendy friend. <laughs> Oh, look at our friends. Ooh, here she comes. Wow. Wow. 
This has got to be one of the nicest visitor centers I think I've seen with the dog park and everything. They have a small dog side and then a big dog side and it's pretty big. Very, very nice. Thank you, Halifax County. Now that Gracie got to run around with some friends, I think it's time to hit back on the road and make our way down south, down to the south of the border. Looking at the map here in Halifax, there's a lot of cool things they got going on here. They have a cryptozoology and paranormal museum. That sounds amazing. If that was kind of close to me, I would totally go there, but it's all the way over here in Littletown. Littletown, and 95 separates it, so this is mainly its big support right here. And we're right here. So we're just about out of here. Still traveling through North Carolina, decided to get off exit 98 to good old Selma, North Carolina. They have an antique shop over here and a lot of railroad stuff, so I figured it'd be a good stop. And this is beautiful Selma, right on the railroad tracks. Gracie's stretching her legs, walking down the railroad. Is that what you're doing, Gracie? Like I said before, they have an antique shop here at this exit, so I kind of want to check it out, but I can't do it long because Gracie's in the car, so uh, maybe I'll just run in and take a quick peek see. This place is something else, though. We've got a nice little railroad station here built in 1855. 1855, and it's still standing. I mean, barely, but it's still standing. Got the water tower over there, and then look at this. There's a railroad street, antiques and collectibles, and fresh fudge. So I figured maybe I'll run in real quick while Gracie's kind of just chilling. Whenever I do traveling with Gracie, I leave her in the car, but I always leave the car running and the windows down, so she just chills out in there. And I don't want it to be too long, just want to see what they have. You never know. When in North Carolina, you might as well. Trackside Antique Mall. New items daily. New items daily, do you say? Wally's filling station. Well, that's kind of cool. Look at this place. I like it a lot. They even have fresh fudge and some uh, jellies and jams and stuff over here. Hotter in hell, chow chow. <laughs> Iced cucumber pickles. These are really cool. Jalapeno strawberry jelly. Ooh. Holy moly, look at that. A family reunion, Kraft Mac and Cheese. Kraft salutes Disneyland 25. And it's Captain Hook and Peter Pan. That's such a cool thing. You guys know I love doing antiquing. And this is like a dream come true for me. This is some good stuff right here. Right in the middle of North Carolina. Take a look at this. Here is a 1930s Mickey and Minnie Mouse uh, tea set, it looks like. 19 pieces for $108. That's really awesome. And then they also have some other really cool things in the back here. They have some borax back there, some Rolling Stone stuff, a John Travolta doll. <laughs> this is just really too cool. This place is pretty big too. Like, there's a lot to take in. I'm sure I'm going to miss some really good items because I'm not being thorough, but I like everything in here. <laughs> I think I'm going all in on the family reunion advertisement set. We've got Snow White here. When I, got, when I saw Snow White, I got super excited. And then Captain Hook, Alice in Wonderland, and then Pinocchio. And then one more over there, they had Robin Hood hanging up. So five of them. I don't know how many is in a, you know, uh, collection. And I don't have any service here, so I can't look it up. So we're going in blind, but I'm going for it. And I'm walking out with the whole set. I'm pretty sure it's the whole set. I found a Lady in the Tramp one, so I had to get it. So six of them, Lady in the Tramp, Pinocchio, Alice in Wonderland, Peter Pan, Robin Hood, and of course, Snow White. I think I'm so happy right now. <laughs> Not too sure if I made a great deal or not, because I, like I said, I had no service. So usually whenever you know you find something, I like to research it a little bit, but uh, we struck a deal. I got six of them. I think it's a whole collection, and I paid $120 for all six. I feel like I did pretty good. I don't know, I can't wait to check it out, do a little research on them. I know, like I said, they're advertisement, but I just love, I love Disney, you know what I mean? And it was so cool in there. I would definitely spend more time, but I don't wanna leave Gracie by herself too long. I was only 
in there for like 10, 15 minutes, and look it, I spent $120. I was in there for 10 minutes, so maybe it's a good thing. Maybe it's a good thing. On the road again. It's time to go back on the road again. Look at this. Look at my seat. Oh, is that you? Are you doing that? I do need to stop in North Carolina somewhere to get gas. So if we see a gas station, we'll have to stop there before we head back on 95 and make our way down to, like I said, south of the border. This Selma town is a nice little spot. And I think we found ourselves a gas station at the short stop. I came across a short stop gas station. Never saw a short stop gas station before. And they have the cheapest gas so far. You know, I really love this town, Selma. This is really, really nice here. Gas is super cheap, $4.44. Nice little antique mall. And it just looks nice. Like, it's really crazy. Look at this over here. Everything is quiet. I, I honestly, I want to talk lower because <laughs> we're in such a quiet little town. And it's been great. Filling up the tank now, though. Look at you. Looks like we added another stop here in North Carolina because we came across the Benson Dog Park. Right here, right off 95. How awesome is that? Literally, right there is 95. It's one minute off and then it's a quick right back on and Gracie loves it. Lots of room to run, huh? You wanna run a little bit? Come on. She's like, nope, I don't wanna do anything. Got some doggies over there too. Come on, Gracie. She's tired. She said, I'm done driving, Dad. I'm done. Sadly, it looks like somebody drove through the dog park. Look at this. The fences are all down over here. It's like somebody literally just drove right through the dog park. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, Gracie, time to head back on the road. Come on. I think we're finally getting to that part where we're gonna see a south of the border billboard sign every 20 feet. You never saw such a place. If you guys aren't sure what the south of the border is, it's basically the border from North to South Carolina and there is a big gigantic rest area or a tourist attraction called South of the Border and Pedro really knows how to help people relax and uh, you'll see dozens or hundreds of billboards as you're driving down 95. Hundreds, thousands. All we gotta do is keep our eyes peeled for the gigantic sombrero. We made it south of the border, Gracie girl. We're here. Pedro welcomes us. Yeah, are you excited? I guarantee you've never saw such a place like this. Gracie loves it here though. This is a lot of fun. And that gigantic sombrero is actually an attraction. It's a tower, like a kissing tower. It takes you all the way up to the top of the sombrero. So we might do that. Oh, they have a little pet toilet over here though. So Gracie's probably gonna go to the bathroom. Huh? They've got a little bit of everything here at the south of the border. They've got fireworks. They've got shows. They've got arcades. They've got miniature golf. They've got reptile lagoon, motels, everything. And uh, I wish I could show you everything, but I can't because I have Gracie Girl with me. So we're just going to give you a little, a, a little tour, a little tour of south of the border. One of the things I wanted to show you guys, I'll show you how much I love south of the border. Right here in the back of my car, there is a little sticker. This has been here probably, I would say, for five years, maybe four years. But it's been there doing its job. Seriously, this place is just so amazing. We've got Pedro's Myrtle Beach Shop. Come on in and see the great white shark. Got whales and alligators and dolphins, flamingos. Got a gigantic gorilla over there. And it's huge, like it covers all of this area, all the way over there. I love it here. <laughs> I get so excited, it's so cheesy, and it's so run down that it just makes it extra special. Look at that wiener dog. 
Of course, since we're here at the south of the border, we have to go to the hot tamale and uh, get some food, maybe some hot dogs or a hot tamale, and uh, try some of that wonderful south of the border cuisine. Cuisine! Take a look at this place. They got super dogs. I love the interior. Kind of reminds me of like an old 80s fast food restaurant. And uh, they've got some good foods. They got nachos, they've got tacos, tamales, spicy fries, chili, sausage, footlongs, regular. They even serve pronto breakfast. So I think I'm gonna get myself a tamale. And then I got myself a ginger ale here. I've never had this type of ginger ale before, but I figured why not? Why not south on the border? I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little excited to try a tamale from Hot Tamale. So we're gonna sit down and eat, and Gracie's gonna eat too. It's din din time. Here we go. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. And then here's some water. Coming in hot. There you go for you. And now here is our food. We got some french fries and tamale. I'm not gonna lie, it stinks really bad over here. <laughs> it's so bad. But let's try the french fries. Ooh! French fries are good. I like them. I have to try some of this ginger ale. That is some of the best ginger ale I think I've ever had. And they asked me if I wanted it mild or spicy. And I was like, what, my tamale? And they were like, no, the ginger ale. So I said mild, and it's amazing. I wonder what the spicy tastes like. Now let's get to the tamale. Let's look at these bad boy. Unravel it a little bit. Oh, it's piping hot, piping hot. Oh, hot, hot tamale, hot tamale. <laughs> hot. Okay, I let it cool down a little bit. Now it should be good. That's actually really good. I was a little skeptical, but I mean, the restaurant is called Hot Tamale. I like it. They had pork and beef. I went with the beef. I feel like I should have got a pork one too. That is phenomenal. How's your dinner, good? Yeah? You want my tamale? You got chicken, you got chow chow down there. Overall, I am like super happy with my stop here. I know this place gets a bad rep, but the ginger ale and the tamale were fantastic. I mean, this was like really, really good. I would get it again. I think Gracie liked their food too. Our hot tamale experience was good, but I think we need to get back on the road. Time to say goodbye to Pedro and the south of the border. I would like to come back and eat at the Sombrero restaurant though. That'd be a fun adventure. In half a mile, merge onto I-95 South. Do you see the South Carolina line right there? Here we go, we're about to cross it. That storm was brutal. We drove through that storm for about an hour and a half. Nothing but a straight shot downpour. And finally, we were still in South Carolina. It ended and I had to stop and get some gas. I had to fill up. It was definitely that time. $4.35 a gallon here at Murphy's. $4.35. How you doing, Gracie girl? Good? Yeah? And it looked like it stopped at 29.48. So we're gonna have to push it up to 30. Well, we'll see if we can get it to 31. I should have kept a toll of how much we actually spent. Maybe I can look on my uh, app and see how much money I spent so far in gas. But this is the cheapest, 4.35 here in South Carolina. While I was at south of the border, I got myself a new bumper sticker. I think it's time we switch it out. It's definitely sun faded away. I also bought about uh, 50 more <laughs> south of the border bumper stickers so that I can give them away to my friends. Might as well, right Gracie? You want, a, you want, a, you want one? She doesn't want one. <laughs> but take a look at that, looks brand new. Back on the road again. I'm really hoping to make it to Florida before the sun goes down. Uh, all we have to do is make it through Georgia we're in the home stretch, baby girl. Home stretch. You've been the best dog in the world. We're about to cross over into Georgia. Here we go. Georgia, here we come. Oh, look at the little sign. Welcome to Georgia. 
Welcome to Georgia. We have officially made it to Georgia and there's only one place I figured we needed to stop here and that is Peach World. Georgia's Peach World. Millions of peaches for the love of peaches. You can get your picture with this little Georgia peach for the year 2022 and this is it. Peach World. Got a sign up there. Peach World for the love of peaches. So you're gonna have to check it out. Sometimes they sell stuff outside. I see some watermelons under there. Some watermelons. They don't allow dogs inside Peach World, so we gotta be quick. Maybe just get ourselves some peach juice. They've got a lot of peaches in here. Holy moly. They got peach halves, they've got peach cider, lots of different stuff. Pumpkin pie sauce? Oh, that's a candle. <laughs> they got peach candles though. They've got some peach bread. I'm kind of interested in this peach bread. They have little samples here. Some dark chocolate pecan honey butter. And then they also have homemade fudge samples. And then even some candied pecans over here. Lots of fun stuff. Oh, and some pecan pie there. All right. So... <laughs> they don't sell peach bread individually so I bought a whole loaf a whole loaf of Georgia peach rolled fresh peach bread then I got myself some peach cider and some peach butter so I'm gonna try the butter first oh that's really good oh I probably should have saved the butter to go on the bread oh well I don't want I was gonna drink the drink but I should eat the bread first oh I don't have anything to cut it Oh, I didn't think this through. I was just so excited. What am I going to just bite the corner of a loaf of bread here? I don't know what to do. Just a oh, it pulls apart pretty easily. Okay, never mind. All right. Oh, it smells good too. It smells like a cinnamon roll, like kind of, I don't know. I'm excited. That's good bread. Wow. Wait, we got to try the peach, peach cider. That is good too. It's a very peachy kind of day. <laughs> Honestly, I really love this peach bread. I'm like, this is so good. I'm really, really shocked. I, I wasn't expecting it to be as amazing as it is. Now we are getting close to dinner time and I don't want to eat a whole loaf of peach bread so I had to put it away. I had to put it away. Put that peach bread down because it is that good. And uh, I think we need to hit back on the road and try to find something for dinner and also i want to stop at bucky's i don't know which one uh, is closest either florida but we are in georgia now so i think there is one we have made it down south look at that wow we did it we did it welcome to florida <laughs> And after two days on the road, over a thousand miles, Florida welcomes you, or Florida welcomes us. We're home. We're home, Gracie. We've officially made it back to Florida. Now, I, did, I do realize we didn't stop for gas in Georgia, but the gas was, I think, four, like 49, so it actually went up compared to South Carolina. So we're gonna have to stop for gas in Florida itself. Now, just because we're in Florida doesn't mean we are in the clear. I think we still have like a, like two and a half hours, two hours and 45 minutes to go. So we still have quite a ways, but it's good to see Florida. And we got here before uh, it was dark. So plan worked out perfectly. There is no better feeling than arriving here at the Florida Welcome Center, knowing the fact that you made it to Florida. Seriously, it's always like my biggest thing. I always kind of get happy and giddy about it. It is closed at the moment though, because I think it's only open till five o'clock, but they used to give you like free orange juice in there. Yep, take a look right there. It looks like they still give you free orange juice. And then of course, all of the different programs and maps and stuff for Disney and Legoland and Busch Gardens. It's really magical in there, but everything's all closed up. We're not here visiting. We live here. You guys definitely know what I'm talking about. That feeling when you first make it down here. 
It's such an amazing feeling. And how ironic, I'm wearing my Florida Stanley shirt from Scranton to Florida. I actually planned that out though, so it's not really ironic, but it's one of my favorite shirts. I just stopped in the bathroom and they even have orange scented urinal cakes. Orange scented urinal cakes. Isn't that amazing? I love Florida. Now it's time to get some gas and we made it to Bucky's in St. Augustine. And wow, the gas prices went up big time from Pennsylvania all the way down to uh, Florida. I mean, it, it, it started high in Pennsylvania at the highest and then it went down, 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 down until we started getting to Georgia and then it started going up, up. Now in Florida, it is $4.73 a gallon. 473 cents a gallon. I think Gracie could tell we're almost close to home because she can feel it in the air, can't you? You can feel it in the air, yes you can. $34.99 this time. There we go. The reason I did it for 99 cents is because I added up all of uh, the gas we spent and uh, I had one where it was actually a penny. So now it's an even number. Grand total spent $174 in gas. And that's how much we spent, not how much we used because I'm still gonna be able to drive home and this will be my last. And I'll still have some gas left over, but I started with some gas left over. So we can say, like, I could say actually like $175. It costs for me to drive up uh, to, I mean, drive down from Pennsylvania to Florida. Just about. So going both ways, I spent, wow, man, holy moly. I spent like almost 150 almost $400. $400. That's crazy. 25 minutes long. I could have flew from Orlando to Pennsylvania and it would only cost me $77. But if I did that, I would not have the memories I have of this great road trip with, you know, my little Gracie girl here. Seriously, I'm gonna be looking back on this video for such a long, long time and I'm so happy we did it together. And it was such a great time. I know a lot of the things I couldn't do because I, I really don't wanna leave her in the car. Even though you leave her in the car like with the car running and the windows down, but like not for long periods. As long as I can keep my eyes on her, you know what I mean? But I wouldn't have it any other way, seriously. It was such a great trip. I really had an amazing time and we're not done yet. We still gotta to get to Disney. We are home. Look at that. After 36 hours, it is 1.30 in the morning right now. We left yesterday at 1.30 p.m. So 36 hours, 36 hours, but let me tell you something. It was so worth it. It was so worth it. I have taken this drive from Florida to Pennsylvania many, many times. Sometimes I do it in one shot, but I tell you one thing I never did. I never stopped and enjoyed the ride itself. And that's what I did in this video. I stopped in every state, uh, whether it just be a gas station or grab a quick bite, but I really, really enjoyed it. I had so much fun and it was great to just be out there with me and Gracie, just me and my dog, just on the open road and I loved it. I don't even know how this video is gonna come out, but you know, normally when I say, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, I enjoyed making it. I really enjoyed making this video. I was just happy about it. And I don't even know how it's like gonna come out. Like, you know what I mean? In my head, when you're making videos, you try to like basically narrate or put it into like scenes. I don't even know how it's gonna come out, but I enjoyed everything. I really did, I had a great time. So, <laughs> like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it, it was so fun. And uh, we're back in Florida. I'm gonna miss my mom and sister, but like I said, they're coming down. They're coming down soon. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.